हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ईपीजी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर आयुषी पालीवाल फ्रॉम यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ दिल्ली सो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक ऑन द मॉड्यूल बैंड स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ग्रेफीन यूजिंग टाइट बाइंडिंग मेथड फ्रॉम द पेपर फिजिक्स एट nano scale so the learning objectives of this module are first the band structure of graphene using tight binding method along with the sub lattice and unit cell will be discussed secondly we will also discuss about the band structure of graphene so students let us start with a basic introduction about the module graphene is a single atomic layer of graphite its structure has been studied long ago and initially it was believed that graphene is not thermodynamically stable in single layer form finally it was shown for the first time that graphene can be stable when placed on a suitable substrate for this work andre k gaim and constantin s nosilev who succeeded in producing isolating identifying and characterizing graphene layers they were honored with 2010 nobel prize in physics so since the discovery in 2004 graphene has become one of the most investigated materials amongst the scientific community all the unique properties of graphene emanate from the linear energy dispersion relation at lower energies the most explored aspect of graphene physics is its electronic properties which is the outcome of its unique band structure the fact that charge carriers in graphene are described by the dirac like equation rather than the usual schrodinger equation is the consequence of a graphene's crystal structure leading to unique band structure which is responsible for a very high charge carrier mobility and unusually high conductivity several orders of magnitude higher than copper the high mobility the high current carrying capacity the 2d atomic structure and the compatibility with planar technology makes graphene an exciting and promising candidate for future microelectronics the novel band structure holds promise for as yet unrealized devices that exploit the massless dirac fermion like linear energy dispersion of electrons in the material the potential applications of graphene extend far beyond the electronic devices it is being touted as a material that will literally change our lives in the 21st century like plastics did 100 years ago not only graphene is the thinnest 
and lightest possible material that is feasible. But it is also approximately 200 times stronger than steel and conducts both the heat and electricity better than any known material at room temperature. In spite of its zero band gap, graphene absorbs only 2.3% of incident light which makes it a potential candidate to be used in graphene based transparent optoelectronic devices. Graphene based optoelectronic components they promises closing the tetrahertz gap, transparent conductive coatings for solar cells, touch enabled displays, stronger medical implants, artificial membranes for separating liquids, nano gaps in graphene sheets may potentially provide a new technique for rapid DNA sequencing. It holds a high potential in nano electromechanical systems and components for RF resonators in gigahertz frequencies. So, there are some properties which make it novel. So the novel phenomena in graphene are quantum Hall effect, fractional quantum Hall effect, Berry's phase, clean tunneling, condo effect and lastly is your Majorana fermion. Now there are certain potential applications of graphene corresponding to the novel phenomena in it. These are membranes for ultrafiltration, composites and coating, energy storage, sensors, fast electronic devices and for biomedical applications. Sub lattice and unit cell in graphene. Now there are two different ways of orienting the bonds means there are two different types of atomic sites. The carbon atoms in graphene are arranged in a honeycomb lattice due to their sp2 hybridization. The honeycomb lattice is not a bravest lattice because two neighboring sites are not equivalent which is illustrated in this figure. It is clear that a site on the A sub lattice has nearest neighbors in the directions northeast, northwest and south whereas a site on the B sub lattice has the directions north, southwest and southeast. Both A and B sub lattices, however, are triangular Bravis lattices. Hence, the honeycomb lattice can be considered as a triangular Bravis lattice with a two atom basis A and B. The sub lattice A and B can be treated as spin up and spin down and hence it is termed as pseudo spin which lays down the connection between graphene and relativistic quantum mechanics. Now the band structure of monolayer graphene can be studied like this. So students, first we have to define a unit cell. 
then according to the tight binding model we have to find the energy dispersion relation means we have to plot the energy versus k so in the case of graphene we have the unit cell as shown in this figure where there are two atoms per unit cell so the unit cell can be triangular rhombic hexagonal unit cell having hexagonal brillant zones crystal structure of monolayer graphene and the reciprocal lattice graphene is a single layer of graphite consists of sp2 hybridized carbon atoms arranged in a honeycomb lattice all the carbon atoms in a layer are covalently bonded to its three nearest neighbors forming sigma bonds in the xy plane the remaining pz electron leads to the formation of a half filled pi bond which governs the electronic properties of graphene so the band structure of graphene can be calculated by taking into account 1 to pz orbital per atomic site that is two atoms per unit cell the unit cell of graphene is defined by two carbon atoms sitting at adjacent non equivalent sites namely a and b so in the first figure it shows the crystal structure of monolayer graphene and reciprocal lattice where primitive vectors are a1 and a2 allows for translational invariant motion along the lattice the below figure shows the two different ways of representations of unit cell upper is two carbon atoms and lower is 1 by 3 each of six carbon atoms that is two atoms the next figure shows the honeycomb carbon lattice of graphene with two sub lattices that is alpha and beta respectively delta 1 delta 2 and delta 3 points out the position of the nearest neighbors from the a atom to the surrounding b atom the positions of a and b atoms are non equivalent because it is not possible to connect them with a lattice vector of the form capital r is equal to n1 a1 plus n2 a2 where n1 and n2 are the integers and a1 a2 are the primitive lattice vectors which are defined by a1 is equal to a by 2 root 3 a by 2 and a2 is equal to a by 2 minus root 3 a by 2 where a is equal to a1 equal to a2 is a lattice constant the distance between the adjacent unit cell that is a is equal to 2.46 angstrom the lattice constant is distinct from the carbon carbon bond length acc is equal to a by root 3 which is the distance between the adjacent carbon atom now here the reciprocal lattice is a hexagonal bravis lattice and the first brillant zone 
is again a hexagon. Hence, it can be shown that a1 b1 equal to a2 b2 equal to 2 pi and a1 b2 equal to a2 b1 equal to 0 and the reciprocal vectors are b1 is equal to 2 pi by a 2 pi root 3 a b2 equal to 2 pi by a minus 2 pi by root 3 a band structure of graphene for the tv calculations of the energy band structure of monolayer graphene we consider two block functions from a and b sites which are used for calculating the transfer matrix h and overlap matrix s which are defined by the equations phi a k r equal to 1 by root n multiplied by the summation over l equal to 1 to n exponential iota k dot r a vectors multiplied by phi a as a function of r minus r a and phi b as a function of kr is equal to 1 by root n summation over k is equal to 1 to or m is equal to 1 to n exponential iota k dot r b m multiplied by phi b as a function of r minus r b m so the generalized block wave function is given by phi j as a function of k vector r vector is equal to 1 by root n multiplied by summation over r j to n exponential iota k dot r j the whole multiplied by phi j as a function of r vector minus r j vector where this label j is equal to 1 for a site and 2 for b site and this summation is over all the type of j atomic sites in n unit cells and this phi j is nothing but the atomic wave function now the eigen function psi j for j is equal to 1 or 2 is written as a linear combination of block function that is psi j as a function of k vector r vector is equal to summation over j is equal to 1 to 2 c j j multiplied by phi j as a function of k vector r vector and e j that is the eigenvalue as a function of k vector is nothing but the expectation value of h that is psi j h psi j divided by psi j psi j so this represents the eigenvalue ej where j can be equal to 1 or 2 transfer and overlap integral matrix element is shown as h i l is equal to phi i h phi l and s i l is phi i phi l now the function phi as a function of k can be calculated for nearest neighbor interactions that is phi k or we can write it as f as a function of k is equal to m summation till 3 exponential iota k dot delta m that is fk is equal to exponential iota k by a by root 3 
प्लस टू एक्सपोनेंशियल माइनस आयोटा के वाई ए बाय टू रूट थ्री कॉस ऑफ के एक्स ए बाय टू नाउ दी अदर ऑफ डायगनल एलिमेंट्स एच बी ए ऑफ द मेट्रिक्स एच इज द कॉम्प्लेक्स कॉन्जुगेट ऑफ एच ए बी दैट इज एच बी ए इज इक्वल टू गामा नॉट एफ conjugate as a function of k the calculation of the off diagonal elements of the overlap integral matrix s is similar to those of h that is s a b is equal to 1 by n summation over l equal to 1 to n multiplied by summation over m equal to 1 to n Exponential iota k dot r a l minus r p m. This multiplied by phi a r minus r a l phi b r minus r b m. Approximately equal to one by n summation over l equal to one to n multiplied by summation over m equal to one to three. Exponential iota k dot r a l minus r b m. This multiplied by phi a r minus capital R a l, phi b r minus capital R b m. So s a b is equal to s not f as a function of k, where s not is nothing but the average value or the Phi a r minus r a l, phi b r minus r b m. The transfer and the integral matrices of monolayer graphene can be written like these. That is h one by an s one, and the corresponding energies may be determined by solving the secular equation. That is determinant of h one minus e i s one. Equal to zero. So after solving this equation, we get e plus minus is equal to epsilon two p plus minus gamma naught multiplied by modulus of f k in the numerator divided by one minus plus s naught multiplied by modulus of f k. So for intrinsic graphene, epsilon two p is equal to zero. Now, students, let us discuss the energy dispersion of monolayer graphene. So this figure shows that is the figure A shows that it is a gapless and touching at k minus and k plus points. Which are located at the corner of the first Brillouin zone. These high symmetry points have coordinates gamma zero zero m zero two pi by root three a and k two pi by three a two pi by root three a are plotted. The figure B shows the cross section along the line k y. From A, and the third one shows the zoomed-in band structure at the k point of the Brillouin zone, showing linear energy dispersion for monolayer graphene. Now, students, till now we have discussed the monolayer graphene. Now, let us discuss the bilayer graphene. That is burner A B stacking. Now in this case we have A B sub lattices that is pseudo spin index. So and here the plus minus represents the valley index. So we have the upper side that is this blue side shows the positive valley index. Psi is equal to psi plus A psi plus B. And the below 
shows the psi is equal to psi minus a and psi minus b. So the wave function is equal to psi plus a psi plus b psi minus a psi minus b. Now as shown in this right hand side figure we have the four atoms per unit cell rather than two atoms per unit cell for monolayer graphene and there are two layer stacking that is A1, B1 and A2, B2 which are separated by the gamma 1 separation as shown in this figure. So now the low energy band structure of bilayer graphene is shown in this figure. Now here E plus minus is equal to plus minus gamma 1 by 2 multiplied by the square root of 1 plus 4 gamma naught square multiplied by the modulus of f as a function of k the whole square divided by gamma 1 square plus alpha where alpha can be plus minus 1 and gamma 1 equal to 0.38 electron volt. So this left hand side figure shows the energy band structure for E plus and the right figure shows the energy band structure for E minus. Thus for monolayer dispersion relation is linear in K and for bilayer it is quadratic in K. Now let us discuss the trilayer graphene. Now in the trilayer graphene we have the layers as A1, B1, A2, B2 and A3, B3. So we have two types of stacking A, B, A and A, B, C. In the A, B, A stacking we have the arrangement like this as shown in this figure that is alpha 1 beta 1 alpha 2 beta 2 and alpha 3 beta 3 that is we have the combination like this as alpha 2 beta 1 alpha 2 beta 3 whereas in the abc stacking we have alpha 2 beta 1 alpha 3 beta 2 now here j is equal to 2 plus 1 and here j is equal to 3. Now let us discuss the energy band structure of trilayer graphene. Now this left hand side figure shows the energy dispersion for ABA stack and the right for the ABC stack. The energy bands of ABA stacked trilayer graphene is considered by the combination of the linear dispersion of monolayer and quadratic relation of bilayer graphene commonly referred to as the 1 plus 2 model and that of ABC stacked graphene has cubic touching of the conduction and the valence bands. Next comparing ABA and ABC we see that the dispersion depends on the order of stacking. Generalization to n equal to j number of layers. So students for that we have a 2 cross 2 matrix for Hj which has the components of nu p which is given by nu p is equal to nu pi divided by gamma 1 where pi is equal to modulus of p multiplied by exponential of iota phi p. Now the chirality 
some rule in graphene multilayers chirality is defined by a projection of spin sigma on the direction of motion n so the low energy electronic structure of arbitrarily stacked multilayers of graphene they are described by a set of chiral 2d electron systems monolayer bilayer graphene is described by j equal to 1 j equal to 2 chiral 2d electron gas now trilayer graphene is described by j equal to 3 for a b c stacking and j equal to 2 plus 1 for a b a stacking now what about the multilayers for that we have let us discuss the j equal to 4 layer so we have four combinations for that that is we have different combinations for j equal to 4 j equal to 3 plus 1 j equal to 2 plus 2 and j equal to 1 plus 3 now for conduction band the condition is that the sigma vector dot n vector must be equal to plus 1 and for the valence band we have sigma vector dot n vector must be equal to minus 1 now students let us discuss about the effective theory now first we identify the zero energy states from the diagram for example if we have a b c stacked n layer which has isolated a1 and bn are the energy states this procedure continues until all the layers which are which can be written into smaller partitions now a b c stacked n layer graphene is described by n chiral 2d electron gas this concept of chirality will be used to discuss the robustness of transmittance in the visible region so students let us now summarize what we have learned in this module first graphene is a single layer of graphite consisting of sp2 hybridized carbon atoms arranged in a honeycomb lattice now all the carbon atoms in layer they are covalently bonded to its three nearest neighbors forming a sigma bond in the xy plane secondly for studying the energy band structure of multilayer graphene using tight binding method we considered two block functions from a and b sides for calculating the transfer matrix h and overlap matrix s now after that the corresponding maximum and minimum energies were calculated for monolayer graphene thank you